My name is Aaron with theruggestore.com. Panasonic has long been the industry leader in the fully rugged field of technology, and they've worked very hard in those decades to merge form with function. The latest result in that rugged technology endeavor is the Panasonic Toughbook CF20. Today I want to walk you through this fully rugged, fully detachable laptop. It's the first of its kind in the rugged industry. I kind of want to walk you through some of its functions and why it's just a great fit for public safety, average consumer. It's just an all-around great unit. In previous videos, we showed off the FCG1 fully rugged tough pad. Now, we coupled that with the iKey accessory, the jump seat keyboard. This is made by iKey, partnered with Panasonic. One of the drawbacks to having a tablet is that it's very mobile, but sometimes you just need a physical keyboard. That digital keyboard isn't the best for typing up long reports or anything with extensive typing. And so Panasonic partnered with iKey to create a jump seat keyboard that attaches directly to the tough pad and the result is this, the iKey jump seat keyboard. We showed that in previous videos. There's a few drawbacks, uh, namely that th they all, even though some of them can come admissive keyboard, that means backlit keyboard, they all have this overlay of rubber, which makes it fully rugged and makes sure that sand doesn't get in the keys, but it's also not very conducive to extensive typing. The CF20 resolves that with an emissive keyboard. You can see that these keys are chiclet keys, very easy to type on. It's very uh, user-friendly with your larger hands because that's another drawback of the uh, CF19 Toughbook. You might be familiar with that. It's a rotating notebook. We've showed that in previous videos. And the keyboard on that is slightly smaller. So even though it, had, it could have an emissive keyboard or a um, rubber backlit keyboard, the keys are smaller. And so Panasonic kind of heard that from their consumers and they've stretched out this keyboard on the CF20 so that even though it doesn't take up any more space, on the form size, it actually enlarges the key, so they're more spread out, they're easier for bigger hands, and it's just a more user-friendly keyboard. So that was one of the things that they took away from having the, uh, reviews from the jump seat keyboard and from the CF19. So I'm going to set this aside. If you're interested in that video, we definitely have a video of the FCG1 Tough Head with the iKey jump seat keyboard. Now let me go into the CF20 detachable laptop. Now, one of the things that you have with the FCG1 Tough Pad is fully mobile, fully rugged Tough Pad. And so the cool thing about this is we're just going to snap that out really easy. It undocks and you have a tablet. This is fully rugged. That means it's a six foot drop rating, IP65. That means it's dust proof, water resistant. Uh, it can be hit with full jets of water, just can't be immersed in water. Now, when you have this, it comes standard with a front-facing camera. It could have an optional rear camera, and that uh, enables you to take the tablet away from the keyboard, say you could leave the keyboard in the vehicle. The keyboard actually has a docking strip right here to have a port replicating dock in the vehicle. You can mount this in the vehicle, and say you get to the accident scene if you're a public safety department. You can detach the tablet, say you need to document the accident scene. You take your rear camera, take pictures, you can edit the photos on your tablet, and then you need to bring it back for uh, your report of the accident. You dock it back in, you start with the right corner down, left corner down, and press it in. You'll hear a click, and you have your laptop configuration. Now, going into the laptop configuration, uh, kind of the form and function thing again, you'll notice that the handle for the carrying case is kind of on the reverse. Most times, if you expect a laptop to have a handle, it's going to be here, and you open it up. Now, Panasonic has done the reverse for a very a particular reason. So, you'll see that when it's extended, it acts as a kickstand here, so that when you open up the unit, and bear in mind this is full touch, glove multi-touch, etc., so you might want to use that touch display in a laptop configuration. It acts as a kickstand so that you can use that touch display without pushing over the unit. Without that, it might get top-heavy and say you're trying to use the tablet and other tablets, other laptops, if it has a touch screen, you might notice that it has some uh, vibration or you might even push it over. Kickstand is a great addition and just, again, with that form and function that Panasonic has been merging to get this particular unit. Um, let's go into some of the ports on this uh, unit. That's a big um, leap away from the Toughpad uh, G1 with the jump seat keyboard and the CF19, kind of the two things that brought the CF20 around is that the CF19, for example, only has one USB and one 3.0. Panasonic has loaded this thing with a lot of interface options, so you just have the most bang for your buck on a small real estate. So just on the tablet, you have a uh, USB 3.0, you have one of those, 
You have an HDMI, micro SD, you have a headphone jack, you have an ethernet, and you have a micro SIM card. Now, there's an optional serial port that you can put on the tablet. I would suggest not doing that, and that's for a reason. Uh, the keyboard, and we'll go into the ports on there, has a serial port, but the serial port is mutually exclusive on the tablet with um, optional second USB or a barcode reader. And uh, speaking to our customers, we found that our customers had a lot more use for either a barcode scanner or a second USB on the tablet than they did for a second serial port. Serial ports you can use. Um, and there's already one on the keyboard, so it's kind of redundancy to have one on the tablet. You kind of want more mobility form uh, ports, such as a USB or a barcode scanner. And that's not a port, I'm sorry, accessory um, other than a serial port. It's just Go with the option, if you're going to add options, go with the second USB on here or the barcode scanner because, like I said, the keyboard has that. other ports that are included on the keyboard. Uh, there's another two USB 3.0s, another one USB 2.0, a VGA, another HDMI, the serial port that I was saying, uh, the, an SDXC, and it just has just tons of ports, tons of interface options, and it just, they really fill it up. We're going to make another video for you, kind of showing you a close-up of those ports and kind of give you a good rundown of the ports. Um, let me just go into another benefit of the, excuse me while customers try to call me. <laughs> anyway, so let me go into another benefit of the CF20 and we'll show this off a little more in depth with a comparison video. This thing is small. It's very light, only weighing in at 3.9 pounds compared to uh, what a lot of public safety departments used was the CF19. Uh, that was a 5.1 pound, so this is a full pound lighter, and bear in mind that 3.9 pounds is the full unit. So you're talking, if you just have the tablet, it's next to half of that weight. So highly mobile, very light, the slim form function, you can see that um, on the video, and again, we'll do a comparison video between the CF-19 and the CF-20, but very small, very thin, and it's just highly mobile without losing any of that fully rugged technology. It still has a six foot drop rating, you throw it around in a parking lot if you need to. I wouldn't suggest doing that because you don't want to beat up your unit, but that brings me to my final point, is Panasonic has rolled out a new program to try to encourage public safety departments to utilize their equipment and try to better support one of their main customer verticals, and that's the public safety packages. Kyle did a video of the CF-54, that's another unit that could be included on public safety package, but Panasonic pretty much took a few units that they know public safety requires a lot, um, some basic configurations including like 4G LTE, um, extended warranty, etc. And they kind of put it into a package with a great price. And the extended warranty is something that you could do accident, accidental uh, repair and replace. Something caused by the consumer, Panasonic will repair and replace. Another thing on the public safety package is like the no hard drive return. If you have confidential information, uh, you can remove the hard drive from the unit and send that into Panasonic for repair. Now, tough pads use a solid state drive. Bearing in mind with that um, Panasonic warranties that if you're not licensed by a Panasonic uh, company, or not licensed by Panasonic to do repairs and retrofits, it actually could violate your warranty if you go into it. Panasonic is developing a program for public safety, a, a specific process for removing those solid states from the tough pad because technically they're really in there and they're kind of hard to um, remove. So if you're interested in those public safety packages, interested in the, more about the CF-20, we have plenty more videos coming about the CF-20 and we can always answer your questions. So definitely uh, hit us up at theruggestore.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Have some more videos about the CF-20 coming soon. Looking forward